good evening everybody watching this video this is a sh short video on how to use the unilink system or the unilink portal to do that using your mobile device you need a web browser so on this device i have two web browsers i have safari and i also have google chrome i'm going to use chrome because that is the one i prefer personally so to use chrome you have to launch the application once you do that you have to enter the url of the unilink system and the url for the address is obwasi shs dot unilink dot com obwasi shs dot unilink dot com if you don't enter it right you will not be able to get to the their server their system so you have to enter it right so once again it is obwasi shs dot unilink dot com once you are done you click on the go or ok button and wait patiently for the site to load so this is how it looks like when it's finished loading you see the school crest obwasi senior high technical school and then we have two test buses that allows you to enter your username and password to log in. Okay. So my username is a email. It's not the normal one, which is the T2000001. Mine is a email address. It is so because I changed mine the first time I logged in. I may not remember the T2000, so I changed it to a username, which is a email address. Now, if you have forgotten your username and password then you have to use the forget password over here so when you click on the forget password it would allow you to enter your username so that it reset the password for you now when you look on the lower left you see that this box has been checked which says remember me when you check this box it means that your username and password will be remembered so the next time you want to log in you wouldn't have to enter just as me i didn't enter it it was already there waiting for me and that is i think pretty good but it comes with disadvantages the disadvantage is that when you check it and you use a public device the next person who comes to sit by that machine will assess your system so that's a disadvantage the second disadvantage is the more when you check this you would not be required to enter your username and password and once that is there or the more you log in without entering your username and password you may forget your username and password and that is also a disadvantage so that's about that if you're using your personal device then fine you can check that if it's not your personal device you can uncheck it by clicking on it so i'm going to check it it's my device then i click on sign in to log in so once you click on the sign in you wait to be logged into the system we would have to do something first when you are logging you remember the last time we had the training we used a track which was a test track that was what happened a track was created for us and it was named test track so if you are still on the test track you wouldn't see your classes you wouldn't see your classes so you would have to enter and then change the test track to have to change the test track to your respective tracks I'm with a green track so when I log in I'll change my track my track is already changed so I'm supposed to change the track from the test track to my track All right so to change that you click on this button here let me take that again when you look at the header file where we have the coat of arm you would see three buttons on the upper right corner there's middle one allows you to see your the name of the school in your track so when you click on the track mine is green so to change it as you may want to change it i'll click on the green then it allows me to switch the track 